Centroid and uh, we're here on site today to show you how to set up the flux chamber and how to launch it. So here we have a flux chamber and we have connected to the center a Teflon line. It's going to our tank, our scuba tank, uh, which we're using here SM100 as the air supply, we're just gonna use cleaner. You have the option of nitrogen or cleaner. Because we're gonna analyze these samples almost immediately, we don't really need uh, nitrogen. Uh, nitrogen helps to preserve the sample for longer holding time. We're gonna do these right away within 20 minutes or one hour of taking the sample. The other line is gonna go to the vacuum chamber, but we're gonna put a flow meter in that too. On the clean line, we have set up the flow meter and we're going to put at uh, around 6 liters per minute, 6.5, to fill and we're going to take around 5 or less for taking the vacuum chamber. Okay, now we're going to see how um, Siddhartha is going to put it into this pond, this uh, drying pond. Hi there, my name is Siddhartha. Well, we attach this kind of cup with poles to the flux chamber that we're gonna do now. We're gonna put it in the pond, and also I attach this uh, line just to recover the flux chamber after we take the sample. So that we're gonna do is to grab the flux chamber. Now that we got the flux chamber launched and it's sitting in position, it's time to flush it with sweeper. Okay, so I have a flow meter here. I'm going to turn on the air. And start my flow. That's too much. There we go. And I want exactly six point five, so around that. I, I, the sweeper is important, so it should be kind of quite accurate. And we'll now let it sit for about uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, it needs three times the exchange, so it will be around 24 minutes.